Welcome to Tips from the Top with me, Joe Parry. Today, I've come to Shappendow Church of England Primary School in Cumbria. This is one of the top performing primary schools in the county. In this video, early learning teacher Vanessa Kelson shares her top tips for organising school trips. What do you think the key things you need to be thinking about uh, when you're planning the, the school trip? first thing you need to think about is you've got to take into your topic. Right. Um, you've got to get the children happy and enthusiastic about what they're, what they're going to be visiting. And obviously if you're doing a topic about pattern and colour, like we were doing last term, you're going to have to fit in a school visit to do with your topic. What was your idea for your trip? Well, we wanted to use our local environment, shape, pattern and colour. We thought we'd go to Grisdale Forest, which is perfect for this sort of thing. Prior to, to going, what sort of things did you do on, on shape and colour with the children before you yeah. went? Because I teach the early years, um, obviously we did a lot about colour and pattern and um, going out around the school and looking at trees in the environment. Also, in the classroom, looking at basic shapes in maths and covering all the different areas of the curriculum. So you, you felt really ready, curriculum-wise, to take them out to Grisdale? Definitely. I mean, we wanted the build-up. We yes. wanted to say to them, look, we, we were look, we've been looking at shapes, we've been looking at these colours, and, and now we're going to go on this visit. Now, the bane of our lives, Vanessa, is the health and safety side of it. Yeah, and obviously. Um, how do you get round that? What do you do about that? I think one of the important things is um, looking at ratios, adult to children. With little children, we try and make it one adult to four, making sure that they know who their adult is and also asking them what, what do you think might happen in the forest? Is there anything dangerous there that you, you know... So you you're getting it? them on board thinking that's about their right. health. Yeah. I think that's a brilliant yeah. idea. Yeah. I mean, you're out in an environment where children can take risks and if you can allow them to take those measured risks and they think about them, then that's, mm. that's a real educational experience. Yeah. I know you're not far from Grisdale, so did you do a pre-visit before going there? Yeah, it's very important to do a pre-visit. Um, even for silly things like, oh, where are we going to eat our dinner? Uh, if the weather's not good, where are we going to sit and eat in safety and, and out of the elements? Yeah. That must have made you feel far calmer about the trip. Oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. And also, they have a, an educational officer there and we talked to her about what sorts of things we were going to do. Wonderful. So, so, so really, get the people who know the place you're going to on board and, and get yeah, them to, yeah. to help it you make the best. It was helpful to talk with her before the visit so we knew exactly what we were going to be looking for. And the children thoroughly enjoyed it and they were full of enthusiasm for more learning when they got back. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, Vanessa, thank you very much for that. I'm sure lots of people have got a lot out of that. Oh, that thank you. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Plan it brilliantly and it will be a really effective teaching tool. I think if possible you should be looking to do a pre-visit. That way you know everything about the place, you know what you want to put in as learning objectives from the visit and it will make it really, really clear and firm for you. I know that's not always possible if you're going abroad, you can't always do a pre-visit. But if that's the case, get as much information as you can from the centre so you know what's available there and then you can plan the session really effectively. Secondly, I would say do some pre-trip lessons so that you are improving each child's knowledge base so that when they hit the trip, they hit the ground running. They know what they need to know before they can move forward on the trip. And in that way, they'll feel very comfortable and you'll know that they're able to access what you want them to access. And finally, express the learning objectives to the students. If they know what parameters you want them to adhere to, they will get far more from the trip and so will you. So effective planning and you're going to have a great visit.